Today is day five of week one. Let me show you what we're doing today. Is, right now is 10 a.m. I just finished our script for the video, for, for the landing page, for our GMB offer. And then uh, I just called, or not called, I, I record the video for a friend of mine. She has a design agency. And she also has a Google My Business, but uh, there it is. I think this is something that we can work on with her to help optimize it so that she gets more clients, she has more credibility. I just recorded the video for her. We'll see how it goes. I'm pretty sure we'll get something done together. She also knows a lot of businesses because she works with uh, directly with businesses. She, uh, they have a design agency for businesses, for business spaces, and also for all sorts of catalogs. Um, so they work with a number of businesses here as well. And I, I know when we met like a couple of weeks ago with her, she told me about um, about this guy who imports cheese from France to Belgrade, to Serbia. And he has some sort of space which I think can also be optimized. So maybe we can uh, get in, con in contact with him as well. We'll see how it goes. I'm telling you something, uh, what we need to do in order to keep the company alive. So in order to keep the company alive, you have to have a virtual office, pay for taxes for just the business to exist, and uh, you have to pay for accounting. You have to pay that every month. Uh, it used to be that uh, I had to pay 300 euros every month for, for three of these things, uh, about 100 euros each. Now uh, I had to pay uh, well, l last Tuesday, today is Tuesday, so exactly seven days ago I had to pay for taxes and uh, I didn't have uh, money on the account, so I had to put money on the account and it took me seven days. It uh, really st stressed me out because I always pay for taxes within like, the, the, the first day or the, the first two days. And also for accounting because the accountant is also, accountant is also waiting for, uh, for payment to come through, right? Yeah, and uh, I just paid that, weight off my shoulders, that's great. Another thing that happened is uh, my partner called me today, and we're still trying to figure out uh, how to set up online payment system, and uh, he joined some, some group, there, there's a group, that's, there's a whole group of people, of entrepreneurs that are trying to, to set up online payments because it's hard here, and so he, find, he found a guy there. And that guy, uh, he, like, I'm, I'm not sure about the exact details, but he he also needs to set up uh, this online payment processor, and he wants to sell tickets to uh, to to people. Uh, I think he's got like tra travel uh, travel agency, um, and he doesn't. Have, he, well, I have my bank, uh, our, our uh, bank account uh, for business co comp uh, opened in uh, Raiffeisen Bank. And Raiffeisen Bank allows uh, to do uh, this online payment uh, processor. And that guy from the travel agency, his bank account is from, from another bank that doesn't allow that. And there is an opportunity for us to collaborate together to first uh, set up this payment processor. And then the second thing is that... Uh, that guy would be able to well that's the idea that's what we want to, what we want to set up he will transfer we we will accept payments from his customers and then send money to him and then keep uh, keep uh, the percentage of the deals and uh, yeah that's what uh, that, that's the idea we will have a meeting with him the day after tomorrow on friday uh, the uh, well, three days uh, three days uh, in the future and uh, we'll see how it goes. So we have a lot of opportunities uh, come in. Well, I wouldn't say a lot, but we have opportunities coming from time to time. And once again, tomorrow we're meeting with the bakery lady uh, to see what uh, we'll do for her business. So we're, we're doing some things on on online front, which is uh, which didn't bring results. It only brought one potential, potential client and that potential client was from UK. And they, there was, like they, he, like that guy, he owns uh, gas stations. 
and actually I need to speak to, to Vitaly because I sent him uh, that, that guy, the details of that guy. I thought Vitaly contacted him, but now I'm not necessarily sure. Yeah, so we have opportunities from time to time. Mostly it's uh, it's just connections. So online, what we're building, the system that build, we're building right now, this value ladder will, will be able to get us clients online. But right now, the way we're doing this is from just connections. Yeah. Let me show you my YouTube channel, right? Uh, so as you can see, I was getting about 20 views, maybe 15, maybe like a bit less here, but I was getting consistently about 10 views per day. Once I started <laughs> posting these videos, the views started to go. And this is, uh, so this is the watch time tab. Let me show you. Yeah, so yesterday we got 140 views and the views are growing right now. <clears throat> so I did a couple of calculations. In order to start monetizing YouTube, and the way why I want to monetize YouTube is because uh, with this monetization, we'll be able to earn some money and put into into this business. So right now I have where is this three hundred and twenty three public watch hours, and I need four thousand not to start monetizing which means I need to get 3,700 hours you know, to start monetizing. And I have a deadline. I have a deadline until the, uh, until the end of September, which gives me about 50 days you know, to start monetizing. <clears throat> I took 45 days uh, uh, for my calculations. And I just calculate that 3,000 divided by 45, 3,700 hours divided by 45 days, which means I will need to get 82 hours uh, of watch time per day in order to start monetizing the YouTube channel. <clears throat> That's interesting to me and seems, uh, it seems doable and reasonable, but in order to do that, I have to just keep on pushing and doing some incredible things. But right now this uh, graph, looks really interesting to me once again i'm, I'm a bit surprised that uh, you guys like these videos and i'll hope to continue providing value to you a couple of days ago i was talking about resourcefulness and how my mentor taught me uh, the skill right so here's just a real life example right this ebook that i'm creating i just create an ebook and that's it. Like, and by ebook, I mean I'm I'm pretty good with writing, so I just roll out like what like nine nine pages of content here. But uh, I'm not really good at design, so what I did is I just googled how to create an ebook on on YouTube, and here's a guy explaining how how to do it, and and he does it in Google Docs, uh, and that's what I start with, which is convenient, right? And like we've got the cover here, so way, way more professional. And what I found out and what I know uh, for sure is you can make small improvements, but then those small improvements build up into something huge. And this is, where's this book? And this is comes from, from this book called Atomic Habits. Great, great book. I haven't finished it yet. But, uh, it's on the way because I'm reading another book right now, which is more important. But once again, you have to have like small, small improvements. And like this, just, just look at this. This cover itself, like it looks so much better when people will see it. Then uh, I'll have a table, table of content, uh, table of what's it called? Context, content, table of content. <laughs> and it will look way, way better uh, after that. And it'll, it it will be way easier for people to go go through go through the information and uh, do all that stuff. Amazing. I think some people might have a question of how on earth are we able to work. I'm able to work with my partner who's almost twice my age. That's a great question because uh, my partner has been in the European industry for 20 years and I've been in the marketing industry for only three years, but he, he's almost double my age and let me address this. Okay, so first of all, I think why we create a good team is 
what would it be? I think it's uh, it's just our skill base. He's uh, he's good at communicating with people and uh, doing the sales calls, and this is something that I really struggled with, and I I always had anxiety when speaking to people on sales calls. Uh, on my first sales call ever, uh, before my first sales call, I was laying on the floor and I was about to vomit. I, I felt really, really bad and uh, my heartbeat was uh, 100 plus. I remember I, record, I recorded my heartbeat uh, on, on a sales call about a year ago and it was 130. So three years ago when I had my first sales call, it was, it was even worse. Right, so he he's pretty good with the with the selling, and he knows the ERP system. And uh, I come from a completely different background; I have completely different skill base. And what part is great is uh, he's very good at uh, producing the technical work of ERP, and I'm I'm good at marketing. And so when we combine these two forces together, we have a great uh, we have a great fulfillment. At the same time, we can get clients. I think this is uh, what works really well for us. Uh, the second thing is that we're pre pretty similar uh, in terms of our goal. Our goal is to is to get freedom. His goal is to leave his uh, company and has uh, and have um, independence. Uh, he he's got two children right now. He'll have another children. Uh, he'll have another child in, in about a month, or a month and a half. So let's say like six, uh, four to six weeks. He'll have another child and he has a wife and they, they, they have a dog as well they're, they're a great family and the, the way we met by the way is we just went to a networking networking event uh, more than a year ago and when he needed help with marketing i like yeah after the, the networking event we just come to kept in contact we communicated uh, met a couple of times and then he he needs some help with with marketing and then that's how it all started Right. Yeah. Uh, so th those are those are the things. I don't. Well, th there are more things if if we dig deeper into that, but it will it will definitely take take time. Uh, so it's just we we have uh, one goal. We we need to have independence. I have uh, a goal of having independence and, f and freedom as well. Uh, and to be able to just go to to any country that I want to go to to uh, to just like do whatever I want to do in terms of like where I want to live uh, and in terms of doing something for for work I really like what I do right now I love absolutely love what I do and especially communi communicating with you guys yeah it's about 5 20 p.m. right now uh, I have well, what I had uh, planned for today. The only thing that I haven't done or haven't finished completely, something that that started but haven't finished is uh, is our ebook for reviews and our special incredible strategy for reviews. This is something that I I will finish tomorrow and right now I'm focused on reading a book. Uh, I really want to finish the Russell Brunson's. Russell Brunson's uh, Tropic Secrets, incredible, incredible book. And I'm right after this book, I'm really excited for Alex Hermosi's, uh, like his second book, also about traffic. This is something that we need to get right now as much as possible. Yeah, well, hope you like this video. I'll see you tomorrow.